any model to be a Ren. A lot of things have changed since my last tutorial, so here is a new version of the tutorial that will allow you to convert any model to VRM format, so it can be used as a VTuber model. This method works with BMX models, VRChat models, game models, and even your own custom models. I'm Dino Mares, let's begin. Any VRM model needs the following. A humanoid skeleton, and blend shapes has expressions. As for the skeleton, it doesn't mean your model must be a human. It means your model must have enough bones to resemble two legs, two arms, a spine, neck, a head, fingers, and all the rest of the parts of the body. So if you can somehow crush a humanoid skeleton into something that's not humanoid, you are pretty much good to go. Default humanoid skeleton in Unity allows models to not have any fingers. But in VRM that may cause some issues in some programs if the model has less than 5 fingers or no fingers at all, especially if you use the leap motion controller. So I would have recommend to have these bones connected to something invisible so you can avoid all these issues. And if you are making a model from scratch, default humanoid skeletons from Blender, Maya and Mixamo work pretty well. And speaking of bones, the bones that have physics must have enough distance between them, otherwise they will collide with each other and generate this kind of errors. As for the expressions, all must be blend shapes. VRM doesn't work with facial bones, so they will be totally ignored. Blend shapes can be added depending on the type of model, so we will be looking at that later. What it's important to know is that the head must be separated from the rest of the body to avoid any overload of the model. This is the basic stuff you need to convert the model. Blender, the CATS plugin for Blender, Unity and UniVRM. And all the links will be in the description. When downloading the CATS Blender plugin, do not unzip it. It must stay as a zip folder. Now let's go to Blender, click Edit, Preferences, Go to Add-ons and click Install. Here you choose the Cats Blender plugin in zip format. This will appear and make sure to have it enabled. Now click here and choose Save Preferences. Now you can close this and by right clicking these objects you can delete them. Click this very little arrow and these options will appear. Down here you can find the CATS plugin. With that Blender is ready. Now let's start with VRChat models. These ones are the easiest ones to convert to VRM since they have a very similar construction. Now you can click this button and import your VRChat model. It must be in FBX format. How the model is important depends on each model. For example, this one requires a little fixing to properly work. Luckily, this plugin can fix all this with just one button. But before pressing the button, we have to set up a few things. Click the button options and the select join meshes and combine materials. This way we can customize more the model in Unity. The model will also be more optimized since the head will be separated. Click here and press the button. Now the model is ready. These kind of errors get fixed in Unity, not Blender. Now let's check that everything is in place. The head is separated and that's good. And the model being divided in several parts will allow better customization. I know this hurts to VR chat users, but this is better for VRM. Only the head has the expressions and you can see if each other part has expressions by clicking here. This model doesn't have any other expressions in other parts. Now it's ready and it can be exported as an FBX. You can name it however you want. There are also models that don't need a lot of settings. Like this one that doesn't have any weird positions. The only problem is that the head is connected to the rest of the body. And as I mentioned, the head must be on its own. To separate the head, select the head and change to edit mode. With the selection tool, select all the vertices on the head. You can keep making selections by holding shift. And be careful to not select any other parts of the body that's not the head. And if you do, hold control and select this part to be selected. 
and having the wireframe view enabled allows you to select the vertex on the other side. Once you have the head selected, go to Mesh, choose Separate and then Selection. Now switch to Object Mode and select the rest of the body. The rest of the body will also have the expressions, so we need to remove them. So once it's selected, click here, and over here is the option to delete all the blend shapes. The hair has some expressions, but I will leave them like that. And there is no other part with expressions, so it is ready to export. The same process applies to game models, but some require an additional plugin, so it will be in the description. However, these ones have facial bones instead of blend shapes, so they need to be adapted to work in VRM. The first thing is that the head must be separated from the body, and it must have all the necessary parts. The head is separated just like in the previous models. For models with facial bones, you must make the expressions manually with the facial bones themselves. For that, select the skeleton and change to pose mode. Then move the facial bones to the expression you want to make. I will start with the A expression in this case. Facial bones can be rotated, moved and scaled as much as you want. Once the expression is ready, switch to object mode, select the head, go to modifiers, and apply the bone positions as a shape key. And when checking the blend shapes, we will see this armature option, that is the new blend shape we just added. You can change the name of the expression. But now the head is not connected to the bones, to connect it again, we go to modifiers, add the armature modifier, click over here and select the skeleton. To recover the original pose, select the skeleton, go to pose mode, select everything with this option, and over here reset all transforms. You have to repeat this step with each expression you want to add. The basic VRM expressions are these ones, and for perfect sync are these ones but you can stay just with the basic ones. Now let's go with PMX models. I recommend to have PMX editor to check the model first. The first thing to do is to check the expressions, since some models have bone positions as expressions, and those are not compatible with VRM, and so they get lost. The same thing happens with texture changes. Bone position expressions have an orange square at the beginning, and if you enable the bone view in the test window, you will see these hidden bones move. To make sure the expressions don't get lost, in the test window set the expression to the max, click here, and then save it as a new file. Now go to the Morph tab, right click, and select a new expression with vertex position. This window will pop up, and now open the new file we just saved. And with this way, the expression will become a blend shape and no longer have bone positions, which means now it's compatible with VRM. Sadly, this step must be done with each expression you want to keep for VRM. And it's very important to name correctly the expressions so you can find them later, just like in this case. Some models have this kind of problem. If you check the expressions of the vocals, you will see they are three expressions combined. These type of groups are also not compatible with VRM. One of these expressions is with vertex positions, and the other one is with bone positions. You can either normalize only the expressions of bone positions, or the whole group. Both ways work, and TDA doesn't have this kind of issue. Once this done, you can import your model to Blender without issue. If you select it and check the blend shapes, you can make sure all the expressions are there. You can compare with the PMX editor window. And the process is exactly the same as the VRChat models. But in this case, press the Fix Model button twice. Sometimes the skeleton comes with errors if you only press it once. Also separate the head from the rest of the body and delete any unnecessary blend shapes. 
In case any face part gets separated, select the whole face and then click here to join all the meshes of the face. Now you can export the model as an FBX. In case your model has a lot of bones in the skirt or hair, the plugin cuts has an option to reduce them, which is this one. And here you choose how much you want to reduce them. Then click here and it's ready. And in case the bone chain doesn't appear in the list, you have to remove them manually. Change to edit mode and merge them together with this button one by one. Sometimes only merging two works, other times it's three or four. Now we can move to Unity to add the VRM setup. The process is basically the same no matter the type of model. What changes is what specifically that model needs. Step 1. Set up Unity. Open Unity and create a new project in 3D. Now drag and drop UniVRM to Assets. And accept all these. To download Unity VRM, go to the link in the description, scroll down a little bit, and in the end of each version you will see this tab called Assets. Click it and you will download Unity VRM. Now right click Assets and create a new folder to keep everything together. Now Unity is ready. Step number 2. Import the model and first setup. Drag and drop the model and its textures inside the folder. Select the model and in this very first tab, change the blend shapes normals to none. This will prevent a lot of errors in the face of the model. Now go to the second tab and choose Humanoid in Rig. Click Apply and then Configure. This will open. Here make sure the bones are added correctly. In the head, delete the jaw bone. Select it and then press Delete. If there is any missing bone in the green figure, drag and drop it from the list on the left. Once you are done, click Apply and then Done. And with this, the model has its very first configuration. Step 3. Normalizing the model. This step sounds stupid, but it's important. First of all, drag and drop the model from Assets to the Hierarchy. Some models become giants when converting to FBX, so we must make sure the model has its right size. Now go to the game tab. If it is small like in this case, you are good to go. But in case you can only see the feet, open the model tree in the hierarchy and select the armature. Then set the smaller scale values until the model is small. Once that's done, select the model in the hierarchy, go to the VRM tab and select Export Uni VRM. This window will pop up and you will have to fill the information needed, that is the name of the model and the author. Since I didn't make this model, I will add the original author. And to optimize the model, go to the final tab and select these two options. Then click Export. Save it where you want and the model will be normalized. Now we must import the model we just exported. So go to wherever you saved the model and re-import it to Unity. You can import it in the same folder or create a new one. Doesn't make any difference actually. And if everything went all right, you must have all these folders and a prefab. Step 4. Fixing materials. Delete the model from the hierarchy and drag and drop this new prefab to the hierarchy. The difference is that the model only has these four tabs and the prefab has all these components. Go to the fourth folder and select all the spheres by holding shift, clicking the first one and then the last one. Then over here, change the standard to M2. The model already looks anime, but it still needs some adjustment. First, I am going to reduce the tune shading and add an outline. This material needs an additional setup, so I will select this specific part and change the cool mode to off. This must be done with each material that has two sides. Step 5. Expressions. Go to the third folder generated by the model. Select the expressions tree. 
that is the third object, and manually set each one of these. Select the clip, open the arrow of the face, and move the slider of the expression you are looking for. In case you see errors like this in the materials, you can go back any time to the materials to fix it. The number of expressions depends on each model, so your model may have less or more expressions than this one. Step 6. Physics and Colliders VRM models have this bone called secondary. This one stores all the physics of the model. I prefer to add the colliders first to save a lot of time. To add the colliders, open the model tree and search the bone in which you want something to collide. In this case, the hair with the head. Now that the head bone is found, click Add Component and add a spring bone collider component. This will generate this pink sphere in the model, and here you can change the settings like scale and position. I will add another one to the neck, and another one to the chest. But in the chest I will be adding three of these, which can be done by setting the number three in this box instead of adding three different components. This way the collision will be more precise. Now go to the secondary bone and drag and drop the bones with the collider component over here. Now you can add the hair bones to this other section. You only have to add the first one of each bone chain. Now I will copy this component so I don't have to add the bones with the colliders again and paste it right here. Now I will remove the hair bones and replace them with the clothed bones. You can add all the physics bones in one component, but I prefer to have each one separated. That way you can have more control over the physics and to what bones they collide. And to finish the model, I will place the camera in front of it so I can take a screenshot of the face. Of course, you can take a screenshot of the model, render a picture on your own, but this step is pretty much optional. And once you are ready, select the model in the hierarchy, go to the VRM tab, and export the model. Y ya vienen. Llevo un buen tiempo esperándolos. Sigue cargando el juego. Ay dios. And this is the basic process to convert any model to VRM. Some models need more adjustments, others don't need a lot of adjustments. I also do this type of commissions, so if you are interested, you can send me a message on Twitter. And if you would like to see your model dance, you can check out this other video on how to convert your VRM model to MMD. And this is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media. See you next time.